All right, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Uh, again, this is the 2012 lunar wave footage, the best example of the lunar wave that we have. And I'm going to show you some things that sharp-eyed followers have spotted long, long ago and that I have talked about, but I have never taken the time to carefully illustrate. And what I'm going to show you here means an awful lot. But I'm also going to show the pulses that happen in the lower left limb of the moon. So watch the lower left there, and I'm just going to run a straight slowed down view, 30%. If you've got sharp eyes, you'll see what we detected on a 60 inch monitor. Now look inside the circle. There's a pulse that goes from lower left to upper right, and in the next circle, the yellow one, there's a lateral sweep that goes from left to right straight across the screen. And this is all going on as the wave is starting at the bottom. So now look at the pulses backwards and forwards. That's backwards. This is forwards. Coming from the lower left limb of the moon, you can see the pulses now that I've put filters on them, how they have a curved aspect to them. And if you've got sharp eyes, you'll see the sweep up above. Now what I'm going to show you now, we have talked about and many sharp-eyed viewers have known that this was an important thing about this clip for a long time. Here comes the wave. Look at the dark underlined crater in the center of your screen. Watch how it's displaced, almost like you're looking through water. There goes the wave backwards, forwards, the wave hits the crater, displaces. This wave is displacing, as if you are looking through water, the entire image of the moon. Now I've never taken the time to animate this, I have talked about it. There it is zoomed in. Now this is running at 30 percent and I'm going to zoom out. There goes the wave to the top and there's going to be another wave coming in from the bottom. Now I'm going to run this at 30 percent so as the wave comes in you can choose any landmark you want. Here comes the wave from the bottom to the top. Choose any little landmark you can see there and watch it be displaced. Now that round looking ring crater forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards and one more time forward and I'll zoom out and you can watch it go all the way to the top. Again, this is at 30% with quite a few filters like Find Edge and some other things, Invert. Now that means a lot. That means the entire image of the moon was displaced by this wave. And it doesn't happen once, it happens twice because there's two waves. Coming in at the bottom, uh, I'm going to show you another thing that I don't believe I've ever taken the time to animate. Look at the upper left limb of the moon. There's a circle come in, there's a little object that zips through there, forwards, backwards, slowed down, forwards. It's going to go through the red ring there. There you go. That happens three or four seconds after the first wave starts. And this is reminiscent of many, many things we have filmed that are traveling in perfectly straight lines. So there's a couple things about the lunar wave I thought I would point out as this seems to be the season for crazy people to steal website domains, defraud people, take my footage of this clip here and tell people that it's fake, that I use software to do this. This is a real clip. I'm not the only one who's filmed it, and I have shown you some things that you'll have to ponder. They mean, they really mean a lot, actually. Uh, it's an amazing piece of footage. I doubt if I'll ever shoot anything more important than this. The moon's just not what you think. Check